I'm just excited to see the end result because uh, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, play that back. So if you watch my previous video, I told you about this leave-in conditioner that I wanted to use because I needed a lighter conditioner because I did not want to weigh down my hair for my wash and goes. First up, honey, I can tell you that I am appreciating how my hair does not look weighed down because usually when I put in my leave-in conditioner, my hair looks extra weighed down. And that is not what I want. So I told you about the Miel leave-in conditioner. It has my hair feeling soft. My curls is clearly popping and my hair does not look way down. It already looks like it has a lot of body. What I'm testing today in this wash and go is how well the leave-in conditioner paired with the rest of my products. So if this leave-in conditioner, cause it is lightweight, if my hair comes out with a little bit more body than I'm used to, then honey. <laughs> I'm going to go back to this leave-in conditioner because I already am feeling the results. It was so easy to put on in the shower. Applicator, all you gotta do is spray, spray, and honey, it come on right out. You can just break it through your strands and my hair feels so moisturized. It's all absorbed in there. To pair my wash and go today, I am using the Blueberry Bliss. This is the Curl Control Jelly. And then I am going in with the Kinky Curly Custard slash gel so these two paired together along with my leave-in conditioner that i already applied i cannot wait to see the results of this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do one half of my hair and then i'm gonna come back on camera to show you how well if it even does pair well these two together so i will see you in a little bit all right so i'm gonna take my aloe vera juice spritz it on and in there and then right through I honestly am really starting to fall in love with aloe vera because it gives you extra moisture to your hair and it's very light. Like it's, it's water based of course, but it's like so light. And I really appreciate that about aloe vera because it gives my hair a little fluff. Going in with the custard. And I would like to break the custard through first and then kind of like do my hands like this. For me, I don't like a lot of custard because I don't like extra, extra, extra defined curls because then it looks like a jerry curl as I've mentioned in my previous wash and go video. Don't like it. So I don't like to use a lot of custard because it's just don't, it don't be looking right. So then I do the praying hands method. My mirror's over here. So I'm gonna look over here. Once I see that it's doing its job, I'm gonna go in with the jelly. And this jelly is kind of like a medium light hold, light medium hold. And then with the jelly, y'all forgot to put my aloe vera juice. Layer it on, y'all know. So then right that once. Pray them hands on through. Then you go in with this. Spray. I was using water at first, but then I seen how much the aloe vera gave me volume. So I stopped using water. Pretty much the same thing, both water-based, of course. Sectioning off another half. After this, I'm gonna speed it up until I get to the front of my hair. I should have started off on this side and then this side so I can talk to y'all. Custard, not too much. I usually use about this much. And then I just put it on my hands. It sometimes will get on the side edges, but just keep it in the middle. Take that piece, get the roots, break it one time, grab it, make sure it's in there, pray them hands. It feels like I need some more custard, so I'm gonna put a little bit of more custard on there. below and tell me what do you like to use do you like to use a hard gel kind of like the edge booster or wet line or eco or do you like softer gels like the main choice and blueberry bliss let me know let me know i do not like hard gels for a lot of reasons 
number one, because they ain't all too good for your hair. And number two is because your curls look extra defined. Remember, I am not a fan of extra defined curls. I like a little fluff, a little frizz. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up and then I'm gonna come back as soon as I start the top so you can see how the top looks. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the front part. I made a side part, so it's gonna go to this side. For this, I don't like to use too much product only because it just don't be turning out right. So not gonna do that. So I am supposed to get my hair evenly cut because when I did my, my diva cut, it was not even at all. And I ain't mad about that because I just wanna start fresh so I can just get on with this journey already. I like the fact that I'm already learning how to like style my hair with good products and what works and what doesn't work. So imagine when I get that cut, girl, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm feeling the jelly so far. I really like it and how it's clumping my curls together. It's not too hard. It reminds me of the main choice braid out blades. I have honestly just been kind of mixing this in as well. If my curls don't get too clumped, then I'll just mix that in because it is a little bit thicker but it's literally like a light medium hold just like jelly. I'm just excited to see the end result because uh, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, play that back, I told you how I wanted to see if the leave-in conditioner is going to weigh my hair down because it's a lighter one and I've been using a little bit heavier leave-in conditioner. I'm just excited to see how this even cut is gonna turn out because my ends need to be like a little bit more clumped together. They are really just like 3A, 3C type kind of ends. And I don't like that. Like I want them to clump, to clump together. Sometimes I gotta force my ends to get the way I want them to get. You know, get kind of curly. <laughs> For some reason my front likes to be a little fluffy. So I'll either put a little bit more custard or I'll just shingle like the thicker ones that's really clumping together. Just shingle up through. Cause I don't want to deal with it. Just be like not working out. Here's another clumpy one. I'm about to shingle that. And you shingle where you it naturally separates. You know, like when you do a primer I said. stretched out I'll come back and show you the end results it might be tomorrow it might be today we will see but I'll see you soon I am on day three it is very humid outside so my hair did frizz up a little bit but all together I think those products incorporated well with each other that Carol's daughter's wash day delight was excellent on my scalp I love the application and I honestly really just love the way that it foamed up on my hair and it doesn't have any sulfates so don't think just because it foams up that it has sulfates because it doesn't oh my gosh y'all that leave-in conditioner though by miel this leave-in conditioner is excellent i mean it's perfect for a wash and go if you have low porosity hair because it does not weigh your hair down and if you're the person that does not like weigh down wash and goes then that leave-in conditioner is definitely for you. I'm gonna use that leave-in conditioner every time that I do a wash and go. Or if I can find something else that's lighter, I'll try that out. But for now, I'm sticking to that Miel leave-in conditioner. It is wonderful, it works wonders. And the Blueberry Bliss 
jelly. Mm, that one is a very light hose. If you can see my hair probably is not gonna last another day or two. I'm probably just gonna throw this up into a high puff, but that gel is very light. So if you wanna use that Blueberry Bliss jelly, I would suggest to follow up with a harder gel like Wet Line or Eco Styler or something like that because that jelly is very light. It's almost like not a jelly. It did calm my curls just a little bit, but not as much as the main choice braid out glaze. You know that's my favorite gel to use when I do wash and goes, but I would definitely use the Blueberry Bliss jelly again, of course, because my hair looks good. Here's how my curls look. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get the ring to all my new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.